Alright everybody, let's do a quick video on adjusting the valves in your Cummins 4BT using one of these custom valve adjustment tools. Now this is just a regular micrometer, I believe that's the right term, that's mounted in this custom holder. You can see the plunger comes down here like this. Now what this allows you to do, it's custom machine for these uh, spring retainers. When you slide it over the spring retainer, you see the plunger being pushed down by the top of that rocker arm. When it sits on the shoulder like that, you get your reading. Focus. And you can set your valve lash. It's about a thousandth loose. <clears throat> so on your motor, you've got focus. <clears throat> you've got intake exhaust, intake exhaust, etc. All the way back. Based on your data plate, which would be down here on the side of the timing cover. It's uh, ten thousandth, ten thousandths intake and twenty thousandths exhaust. So after setting each one, you slide the tool over to the next guy, and assuming that you're in the right position, obviously that one's actuated so it's not loose. Move it to that guy. And you can see the adjustment. Now it varies a little bit depending where on the shaft you stick the or on which side of the rocker arm shaft that you've got the rocker arm, but that's the idea right there. So once again, this is a custom little tool. Obviously you can do it with feeler gauges, but this is much easier, much more accurate in my opinion. I can put a link, if somebody needs it, to how this tool was made in the description. This tool is specifically machined to fit over the 60 pound Cummins valve springs. So That's a quick bit on how to adjust the valves on your Cummins 4BT. Like I said, the adjustment, at least on this CPL 878 is ten thousandths intake, twenty thousandths exhaust, and you just rotate the crank in neutral when the transmission's in neutral with a wrench, and you can set each one. Thanks for watching.